What's going on guys? This is Seha Man back with another NECA figure review. And today, this is one that um, everyone's been waiting for. At least for this series, um, this is the NECA Predator. This is Big Red. This is a figure that um, I have been looking forward to and like for such a long time, ever since I, I found out it was going to uh, be made. Um, if you guys don't know uh, the Big Red character, he is actually from a short film uh, that you can actually find on YouTube. It's called uh, Dead End, and it features uh, Batman. Uh, it's got some predators in it, and it's got some aliens in it, and it's got the Joker. It's it's pretty well done. It's like I think it's it's a, either a 13 or a 15 minute video, but it's done it's done very well. The special effects is pretty cool. The makeup and costumes is 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 done very nice. So if you guys ever get a chance, look up Batman Dead End, and you will see uh, the Big Red in there and he's only in there for a few seconds but it's very nicely done but this is uh, NECA we're looking at the big red figure you know obviously uh, packaging is you know the same as the NECA Predator packaging that we've gotten I do like how this package looks though it's got a nice picture of um, a big red right there you can see that uh, I don't know the red just looks really good with this packaging I guess maybe because the red and the black you got a nice picture of the, of the uh, figure there and he does come with uh, new and improved articulation includes interchangeable hands and two katana swords. So it does come with uh, some some uh, accessories. Right here in the back, there is a read up. There's a nice little artwork there of um, Big Red. There's the other three figure or the two figures from the series, which I'll be reviewing. So it says the unique red armor and brighter flesh tones distinguish the Big Red Predator from the others in the clan. It is assumed the Big Red has an affinity for the samurai culture, as evidenced by his ornamental belt and the two katana swords that hang from his right hip. Contrary to most predators, his wrist blades are golden in color and are housed on his left gauntlet opposed to the traditional right side location. Legend has it that he, the Big Red, has encountered many xenomorphs and an infamous costume vigilante during his hunt. Infamous costume vigilante. Batman, perhaps? Anyways... That's the read up. This is very, this is really nice. I, I recommend you guys pick this up. It hasn't hit um, Toys R Us yet, but you might find it at comic stores or online. So let's take a quick break and we'll take a closer look. All right. All I gotta say is, man, this figure is amazing. I mean, I don't know if the camera is gonna pick up exactly um, as I'm looking through it through the uh, the picture here. I don't the, the red on this. There's two different color reds. It is a freaking nice figure. This is this is just an amazing Predator figure. Going over the accessories first, um, let me move the camera up a little here. So we do, he does come with two katana blades. You can see here, I'll try to focus in a little bit better. So he does come with the two katana blades, it's got the red handles. So it's very nice, it does look weathered, so it's really cool. Um, a little sharp at the end, it's very very cool. So he's got two of them. They look to be about the same, actually no, they, this one has a little bit of a uh, Battle damage right there on the top there. You can see that. Very nice. I think they're about the same length. Might maybe no, they're not. They're different lengths. Pretty cool. So we do get that. And he does come with two interchangeable hands, which is uh obviously the closed hand so he can hold on to the the swords. It's cool because he's got these little wrist um or not wrist, these little knuckle spikes there. He's got black fingernails. The paint on this is very nice. Uh, let's try sliding in one of the katana swords in his hand. And you can see that there. He does hold them very nicely. They're not loose or anything. Uh, where's the other hand here? Actually, the other katana sword. Yep. He holds them perfectly. Perfectly. Now let's get into uh, the figure himself. Very, very nice. Look at that helmet. The paint on this is just amazing. He's got the black eyes. He's got some crazy little like tribal designs right there on the top. Same thing right there in the in the front of the mask. You can see his little light thingy. You can see that right there. This is just beautiful. This is a beautiful um, sculpt. The paint is very is done very nicely. The dreads here, pretty much the same as all the other ones we've seen. Um, you can see his armor. It's like red with black. Again, like I said, it's two different color reds. Um, don't know if you're going to be able to see it through the camera, but this one's a little lighter, and the armor is actually a little darker in some areas. Like the, it's, this is just nice. You can see right there. 
there's uh, the uh, leg armor. You can see his uh, the detail in the skin. You can even you can still see the fishnet little stockings he has on there. Very nice, very very nice. He does have a there's an open hand there. He does have a sheath, two sheaths where the swords can actually um, let me zoom out here. The swords can actually slide in. But you guys get the idea. I'm not going to spend time doing this. No. They fit in there, but I'm not going to force it. So he does have two sheaths here. And um, he has this little like uh, design here on his belt, which is really, really cool. It's, it's a loose part. It's it's where it's um it's also attached to his little sheaths here. But you can see that there. It's very, very nice. Some more uh, little leg armor here. Soft rubber. There's a little kilt thingy back here. A little pouch. There's his belt. The separate piece, like I said. You can see, you can even make out the buckle right there. And uh, one cool thing also is the blades. Like it, like it said in the packaging, the blades is not on his uh, on his left hand because usually they're on the. On, I'm sorry, on the right hand. They're usually on this side. He has them on the uh, left side, and they're actually gold, which is very cool. You can see that, and they do uh, retract, so you can see that. Very nice. So these ones are gold. And the um, forearm armor, it's, it's just freaking, it's dope. It is seriously dope. This is just a fantastic figure. You can see his um, little um, trophies that he has here. The head sculpt is just so nice. I'd like to see an, uh, an unmasked version of the Big Red. But he is just full of like, just like a lot of stuff going on, which is really cool. I do like this figure a whole lot. This has got to be one of my favorite Predator figures. Uh, I'm not going to say it's my favorite, but it is definitely in like the top top three. I'm going to take out the uh, hands here. Let's see. This one is this one here. And then this one pops off. Hold on a second, guys. This one's going to be a little harder to push in because of the blades. I don't want to bend them or anything. I'll just do it half fast, but you get the idea. So there is um, Big Red with his katana blades holding his, uh, his blades here, which is very, very dope. You can see that. Very, very cool. Get this bad boy to focus in a little more. But overall, if I had to rate this figure out of 1 out of 10, I'm going to definitely give this guy a perfect 10. This is just a fantastic figure. Now let's get into his articulation really quick here. Um, the head does go up and down. You can rotate. You can rotate at the waist. Uh, no ab crunch. Arms do go in and out, forward and back. He's got to bend at the uh, bicep. You can also rotate in the lower hand or the lower uh, forearm. Uh, the wrists do rotate and go in and out. Legs go in and out. Not too much though. You can forward and back. Double jointed knee. Rotation in the leg. Foot goes up and down, side to side. You can kind of tilt it. So your standard uh, new NECA Predator articulation. Um, this is a fantastic figure, you guys. I definitely recommend if you guys have the chance to run into this figure, uh, that you pick him up because I'm pretty sure he's going to be uh, a, a figure that's going to be sought after. He's going he's gonna to be a very popular uh, Predator figure and, you know, the prices might go up on this guy. So I highly recommend you guys pick him up. All right, guys, this is Seha Man. Today we're taking a look at the NECA Predator. This is Big Red. Uh, definitely recommend you guys pick him up. Take care.